friends and welcome back to our make and take number three it's Vicky Wright independent stampin up demonstrator Australia so this time round we're going to be playing with um, um, just let me fix this up and I'll see how we go just want to make sure this is all nice and straight I'll get it right one day think we're right does that look right no it's a little bit crooked that look better maybe that way no nope. I always think I have it right and then nothing or wrong again that might be okay now Still looks a bit crooked, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, let's... Let's crack on. Hold on just a minute. That might be right now. Just move all this out of the way. Okay. So this one, this class, we're going to be playing with the Trucking Along bundle, which includes the punch as well. It's a, <coughs> excuse me, online exclusive bundle. And I've teamed it up with the paper called A Walk in the Forest. Now, this is right at the beginning of the catalogue. And you get all these papers here. Um, I have used pieces or sheets of it that I didn't think I would use. I was sort of looking at the back, the opposite sides of the paper, but I've surprised myself and we're going to be playing with some of the front sides of the paper. Okay, if you could call it that. Okay, so this is the card we're going to be creating. It's a very, that shouldn't be on there. Again, a very simple, easy card. So in each of the classes, we've got a simple card or an easy card and a fun fold. Okay. So that's what we're going to be creating. Now, um, that's it there. So the base card is Pretty Peacock. This is one side of the DSP. I've coloured the presents and fussy cut them. Okay, so we'll grab our card kit. And I have pre-done a few things. Um, and I've got lots and lots of bits and pieces, but um, we I don't think we need all more. I think I've just thrown in extras just in case. So what we'll do first is put all this aside and just grab what we need. So we're going to put these two pieces together, okay? Now, oh, would you believe, thinking I'm too, um, thought myself too um, organised, forgot the glue. So um, the tutorial will be available in my um, tutorial and kits store if you want to buy it and it will have the two cards all the tutorials for the classes today um, are, will also be available as a bundle or you can just purchase your favorite tutorial now 
There's also, you, if you place a $30 order in my online store or contact me if you want to, you will receive this kit of, you will receive, sorry, the PDF tutorial for free. Place a $50 order and you receive the kit and the PDF tutorial. And the kits will include two each of the two designs. Okay. Place a $60 order and you will receive the... Um, just let me find them. I just have them. The embellishments we're going to be using and I can't find them. We need them anyhow. Oh, here they are. The Blooming Pearls and that's them there. Okay. So we've done that. So what I did, put the DSP onto the basic white and then onto our Pretty Peacock base card. So while we're doing that, what we might do is stick I've only got one piece okay that's all right we will stick this piece to the inside of our card eh even that side's nice too it's lovely it's a lovely DSP actually I didn't see it at first because it was right at the cat and right at the beginning of the catalogue and it had um, snow on it so I sort of don't look at anything with snow but once I went back and looked at the opposite side and thought I could use that for um, all sorts or even all occasions I then um, rethought it. And the images on some of the pieces of um, DSP too can easily be cut out. I think there's a punch as well um, with the the bear. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at it. There's a bear. That tree will go with that paper. So that tree there. And I thought there was a... Uh... There it is there, that bear. Yeah, it is a punch. Okay. Well, actually, that whole bundle will go with the paper. With this paper as well. Okay, so we've done that. Then what we're going to do is grab our foam mat, which needs a new cover on it, and we're going to do our truck. So we'll grab a, I think that'll be okay. So what we're going to do is stamp our truck. The outline in Memento Black Ink or Tuxedo Black Ink. Don't stress if you think I'm pressing too hard on this ink pad. It is a linen ink pad. I always use a foam mat when I'm using the photopolymer stamp, photopolymer stamps. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to. Just, I seem to get a clearer image. And while we're at it, we'll clean our stamps as we go. I end up in a mess when I'm doing videos. And I seem to end up with ink everywhere. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a filler with our truck. Or if you didn't want to do that, you could easily colour it with the watercolour pencils, blender pens, 
uh, reinkers, aqua painter, stamp and blend. Oh, I said stamp and blend, no, blender pen. So you've got a lot of options. You could probably even sponge colour over the top. I mean, yeah. Or you could use your sponge dobbers as another option. So I'm just trying to make sure that I line this up. That's cherry cobbler that we've done that in. And then there are tires as well. So there's our little tires. They're the, I call it um, a funny face. So we'll do our funny face. Where's our tyres? We're just going to do this in the same memento tuxedo black, or you could colour them again if you wanted to. So I'm just going to line this up so it may be out of eyesight for a little bit. Look at oh, oh, oh that's spot on. <laughs> that was a fluke. That's done. Now we're going to grab our punch. Um, and we're just going to punch our truck out, eh? It's a nice old-fashioned truck, this. I shouldn't say old-fashioned because there's still people around here that get around in their old trucks. So that's done. Then what we're going to do next is grab another scrap of cardstock. We could probably use this scrap. And we're going to stamp our presents. I should have pre-done this. So that's done. And we'll just clean that again. And we'll bring in our colouring pencils, or colour pencils. And I'm just going to do a couple of colours, I think. We'll use um, Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, and I think Balmy Blue. I think I picked Balmy Blue because Balmy Blue actually goes with the paper. And we'll just stick to those two colours, a couple of colours. If anyone's asking about my container, it's an old Ferrero Rocher box and it just fits perfectly for the um, pencils. So what we'll do is we're just going to do a couple. That. And we'll do this one here. I'm going to leave a lot of white this time. I'm not doing being real pedantic about the colouring. When I colour, I like to have my nibs really, really sharp. Um, I just find that it works better for me. And the ink seems to go on a lot better. That's done, and we'll do our old olive, and I think we'll just do down here, eh? Put them in there, and all we're going to do now is just fussy cut. If you wanted to, you could do um, all your presents, colour all the all the images, but I'm just going to um, leave it as it is. 
as I said, I should have done this beforehand, but that's okay. Now, what well, I'm only doing um, the one lot of presents, but if you wanted to, you could actually stack these really high in the truck. You could even have a couple that um, have fallen down onto the roof if you wanted to. Just another option for you. And we might just trim down here. Oh, I have done it one side. So you could do a couple of um, different lots of presents and do them in different colours, nice and bright colours. Okay. So we'll put a dimensional on the back of this. I've only got one left in here anyhow. And we're going to put a couple on the back of here. One up there. One there. one there we'll put that aside then what we're going to do is bring in our circle now I've already die cut um, a stitch circle from um, cherry cobbler using the I think it's the second largest one yeah the second largest circle from stylish shapes dies okay and then for our white one we're actually gonna punch it out with our two and three eight inch circle punch okay this um two and three eight circle punch is has fast become my go-to Punch. I love it. Then what we're going to do, which I haven't done, is grab the dirt or the road image and we're just going to grab um, that one there and we're just going to do a little bit of stamping with this. And that's going to be in Memento Tuxedo Black as well. Now, if you wanted to, I think there's some grass on it as well. I'm not going to be doing it, but yeah, there is. You could even stamp that if you wanted to. A um, little bit of grass, especially around the tyres. So we're just going to stamp that there. I'll do with that. Oh. And then we will stick this piece or this circle. To our cherry cobbler circle, eh? Just like that. And we'll put this up on a couple of dimensionals. And 
whoops I'll get into the bottom of the barrel here and because it's the end of the, the mini dimensionals I'll put one in the middle as well just to give it that little bit of extra support grab our card and we're just going to pop this up over here now I have let it overlap to the right side a little bit um, that's just me but you don't have to do that if you don't want to then we'll put our truck down and then we're going to pop our presents up now, when I've cut it, I've left a little bit um, below the presses. That's so I can just tuck it under like that. Okay. If you wanted to, you could go over that with um, <coughs> excuse me, the clear wink of Stella. That's another option for you as well. And add a little bit more bling. I mean, yeah, bling. Well, too. Then we're going to grab our banner shape, which has been cut from um, the same stylish shapes dies, and we've used this banner. Okay, and all we're going to do is stamp our sentiment in cherry cobbler. Um, special delivery, eh? This would be a great kids card too, if you wanted it to be. Just like that. And in hindsight, I think I should have stamped it a little bit more towards the left because we want to tuck this behind the circle. Okay, and we're gonna pop this up again too. Let's see if we've got any. Let's bring in a new pack, eh? One, oops. And one there. And hopefully I've left enough room I always seem to put mine upside down and back the front. Yeah. Just enough. I think that's straight. And then just press down. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So when you do your sentiment, I've got a mark on there, just um, stamp to the right to the left, sorry, a little bit more than what I've done. So I'm just going to clean that while I think of it because it seems to have, um, it has, it's got a little bit of a mark. It's gone now. Okay. So that's done. And all we're going to do is bring in our Bloomin' Pearls. And we're just going to add a couple. The cover's seen better days. Just to our card. So we'll grab a big one. And we'll just put that there. Then we'll grab the next size. We'll put that there. And then, whoops, another big one. And we'll just put that up there like that, I think. aside and that is our first card easy peasy one but I think the colors really make the card pop I'm loving um, the pretty, pretty peacock and cherry cobbler okay so we'll put those aside and then we're going to bring in our next one now this is using the same 
um, a walk, what, what did I say? A walk in the forest, DSP, but it's just a different, um, a different piece to the original, to the first one. And again, I've done lots of um, pre-work beforehand. So, oh, this is a different one again. Okay, all right. So, well, I haven't scored this, so let's score this. And I think, what's this measure? I think I may have that too long, but that's all right. So we need to chop a little bit of this off. Because I only want it so long. And then we can score it in half. That three and a half. Grab our bone folder and make sure that this is a nice crisp fold. Okay. Then we're going to bring in our bits and pieces. So I've got um, a piece of, where's our card? This is our card. I've got a piece of thick basic white and I've got a piece of the DSP and we're going to stick that down the side. Eh? Now this is only a single piece of basic white, of thick basic white. So instead of just having the normal base card, only a piece of um, the thick base card or the thick basic white will be our base card so it's half the size of your base card I don't know whether I explained myself real well there but so I always tend to leave a, um, a bit of a border down the left hand side but that's not to say that you have to do that and then all we're going to do is grab our scissors and trim along the top or bottom, whichever the case may be. Okay, so that's the base card done. Then we'll bring in a piece of basic white. I've got two pieces, I don't know why. Put one aside, I don't know whether I need both. I probably do actually because I think I need to cut one back. Yeah. Okay. I think it's. Just bear with me. Okay. So let's chop this. That too narrow, haven't I? Yep. Lucky I had two pieces. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just bear with me. This has got to be here. I think I'm going to have one of those days. That means that I may have to chop. I oh, know. So we're just going to put that on there like that, eh? 
Now you could use either side, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to use the trees only because um, although it reminds me of the beach too, this, this colour. Only because it's got the pretty peacock in it. That's all. And it just adds a little bit of a contrast. Now let's hope this is the right size, eh? Just needs a little bit off the top. I think what I did when I was um, doing this, I think I um, changed my measurements and that will teach me to leave well enough alone. I don't know whether you used to do that or not, but I sometimes tend to change my mind at the last moment. Yeah, that's better. And then we're just going to stick this to the front of our card. Just like that. And then we can stick this to our base card. Long way round, wasn't it? Can only pick up. Oops. I always use my grid paper so that I know that um, I've got it straight. Sometimes I will eyeball it, but sometimes my eyeballing it, um, I can't seem to get it just that straight. Okay, so that's stuck down. So that's our card so far. And while we're here, we'll do the inside, which means we'll bring this piece back that we threw away, or I threw away. Now I'm just guessing this. Oops. And that's a pretty good guess. So I've actually grabbed a um, scrap piece of DSP. And what we're going to do is just put this on the inside of our basic white layer. And again, I'm leaving a little bit of a border along the bottom. And we'll just trim off the excess. Okay. Now, I thought I had, that's okay, I'll go and get it because there's a surprise in this card. And I must have packed it away when I cleaned up. Okay. So, that's the inside of our card, and we'll do the front in the meantime. I'll just get everything out of the way. So what I did is, again, I have um, die cut a piece of Pretty Peacock with the Stitch Circle dies, the second largest one. I punched a circle with the two and three eight inch circle punch and I've actually embossed it with the snowflake embossing folder 
it's from the um, mini catalog as well and we're just going to stick that down like that I haven't done any of my pre-stamping I was going to pre-stamp for you okay so that's done we're going to pop this up again smack bang in the middle actually I'm going to put it just up towards just up above center okay and we're going to bring in our foam mat and our scrap cardstock and we are going to grab our truck again and we're going to stamp our truck the outline in tuxedo, memento tuxedo black. Like that. That aside, bring in our solid image. And line this up as best as you can. Oh, nice. Now I'm going to put these right aside because that's the last we'll use those. Bring in the memento again. And we're going to use our smiley face. Ink it up in Memento Tuxedo Black again and try and line these up. It's not too bad. Not as good as the first one, but it's okay. Whoops. Punch this out. Oh, wrong punch. With our truck builder punch. like that just put a couple of dimensional dimensionals on here while we've got it put that aside bring in um more blocks and we need our, our stamp set what did I do with that see things disappear and we're going to stamp two trees okay and we're going to do them in um, pretty peacock This pretty peacock color can be very um, vibrant. So now to get the dimension that I've done on these trees, right? We're going to stamp our outline first. We're going to stamp that twice. We might do one more just in case we muck it up, eh? That aside. Now this is the solid image. I'll bring that around here like that. And 
and that goes like that okay but in this instance we're not going to stamp it as a real solid I'm going to stamp off twice okay and then I'm going to stamp there that gives me that light lighter um, image and then this one I'm going to stamp off once and we're going to bring it in again and that gives me that darker image so that I've got the same images but they're different colours because of the stamping off So we're just going to quickly fussy cut these. Oops. stamp set could actually be used for all occasions it's not just um, Christmas for what I'm using here lots of re I was going to leave a, um, a small section down there but that's okay I will just put one dimensional on the back put it there Just take your time you don't have to rush when you're fussy cutting I find it very um, relaxing therapeutic when I fussy cut unless I'm in a hurry and then I make a big mess of it okay throw all that away and we'll just grab a dimensional So that's done. Then we'll bring in our card and we'll pop our truck up just like that. Press down. We'll bring in the dark tree and we'll put that in. Like that. We'll bring in our lighter tree might have left a little bit too much and we're just going to pop that under there so that you don't see it but well, we don't want it standing upright standing to attention we want it there you go now if you wanted to you could add a few more you could have them tipping down too if you wanted to same as your presents then we're going to do our sentiment now save me grabbing another block um, what are we going to use Fester, Fester, this one. and we're going to stamp this in pretty peacock because you want it to pop. Okay. It's got... Now, again, I've pre die cut my banner shape um, from the Stylish Shapes dies. And we're just going 
just gonna tap 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 get this smack bang in the middle if we can and nice and straight if we can and that's pretty good way over there now I also did another banner with um, pretty peacock and what we're going to do is just chop that smack bang down the middle. And all we're going to do now is grab our glue or whatever you use for adhesive. And we're just going to pop that on there like that. So that only a little bit is showing on that end. And we'll do the same with this one. Now I've only done it like this because I wanted to break up that white on white basically and to pop it a little bit. And we're just going to put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm going to place this down below on our base card on our card front you could do it there if you wanted to if i did it there i wouldn't put a dimensional there i'd put a little bit of glue but i'm going to do it down here in this instance and just smack bang in the middle like that okay now to finish the front off all we're going to do is grab our Bloom and Pearls again and we're going to grab the Pretty Peacock ones. I'll put one there. I'm just going to copy off what I've already done. And one up there. Okay. So that's the front done. But just bear with me, I'm going to go and get the paper. And fingers crossed, what did I do with the paper? Just wanted to double check there. Okay. All right. Oh, there it is. That will that be my knob? Okay. We want this one. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is actually create a gift card holder so we want I'm going to make it about two inches I think you can always chop it back if it's too wide okay
So if we open this card up, that's the card for Julian. We open this card up, you can see that I've created a little bit of a gift card holder. And I can see that it's going to be too wide. So we're going to chop a little bit off it. So we've got a piece of basic white and we're going to stick our DSP and that may not be long enough by the looks of it to the piece of strip of basic white. I just wanted to break it up a little bit. I like um, I like layers. And it's always a good idea or to create a little bit of an interest by adding just that layer. And all we're going to do now is stick that on the inside. When you're sticking it on the inside, Make sure that it doesn't overlap that score line, okay? So even if you chop it, um, probably even one sixteenth less. And all that, oh, we don't want it on the top. do this yet again. I'm really having a bad day. You're not going to see that on the inside. So let's get rid of this eh? It's okay. So all we want to do is just go down along the bottom and just along the tops okay and we're just going to put that in there like that making sure it's nice and straight don't put um, a wide layer of adhesive because remember you want your um, gift certificate or your gift card to be able to fit in there. So I've just gone around the outside with my bone folder to make sure that that sticks nice and flat. And if we take our gift card, pretend that's our gift card, put that in there and that's your gift card. Okay, that's an easy way of doing it. So there's our two cards for today. Okay. So that's the first one, and then that's our bit of a fancy fold one that has the um, gift card in it. Okie dokie. So I hope you've enjoyed that. It was a long way around of doing it, but they're our cards. Okay, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. See ya. Hooray.